In a small city in Turkey, we found the tallest woman in the world. She's so tall that a normal door is too short, a normal car is too small, and a normal person is tiny in front of her. Who is she? How did she get so tall? And how does she fit in an airplane? Hi, Nasteri. My name is Rumei Sayagi, and I am the tallest woman in the world. Rumeisa is a staggering 2 meters 15 centimeters. That's like two people stacked on top of each other to reach her height. She also has the biggest hands in the world for a woman. They're so big that an iPad looks like an iPhone on her hand. Everything in her house, from her clothes to her shoes to her bed, are custom made for her. Because of it, she got not one, not two, but five Guinness World Records. You are officially amazing. But it's not as fun as it looks. When Rumesa was a baby, she was diagnosed with Weaver's syndrome. It's a rare syndrome which makes your body grow super tall, super fast. By the age of seven, she was already taller than her mom and dad. It is a very random genetic mutation. No one else in my family has this syndrome. It wasn't passed from someone. She is the first person in Turkey to have this syndrome, and one of only 50 in the entire world. This syndrome also makes her muscles weak and causes a curve in her spine. So she can't stand for longer than 30 minutes and has to move around in this wheelchair. Because of this, she couldn't go to school, so she was homeschooled. She can't even travel in a car, so she moves around in this van, where she lays down on a mattress in the back. And she's never ever been on an airplane. You would think all of this would make Rumesa sad, but she still has a big smile on her face. There is more to me than my height. I'm a 25 year old woman with goals and dreams, just like you. I love watching movies, doing my nails, all those things. Instead of feeling ashamed, Rumesa felt super special about her height. Before I got the world record for tallest women, I was the tallest teenage girl. I also recently got the world record for longest fingers, largest hands, longest back for a book. She became super famous in her city and the world for her awards. And she uses her fame as an opportunity to educate millions of people about Weaver's Syndrome. I am also working as a freelance web developer. Right now, I have two certifications and studying to get my third one from Harvard University. And this year, for the first time ever, she will be flying on an airplane. I am super excited and happy. I have never been on a plane before. I can't wait to see the world from that high. Every one of us is born different. We all have something about us that makes us feel insecure, afraid of being judged, and not accepted by others. Ramesa may be from a small town, but she is a big inspiration to all of us. My message to the world would be, please be kind and respectful to others, and never forget. We can choose how to look at and respond to things. We can choose to see something as a trouble or as a gift. This is just up to us.